so uh, welcome everyone uh, today we will discuss about um, a nice open source javascript framework here called as system.js so if you go to this repository github.com slash system.js you know it says over here that system.js is a universal dynamic module loader right and um, uh, so what does it mean actually okay uh, so now now what happens is you know uh, basically in javascript uh, when we create project, you know, we divide our project into small, small components. For example, now let us say that I am creating a customer management system. So what I will do is I will go and create different components. Like I will go and create a component for, uh, uh, so basically I will go and create a component for customer, let us say. So uh, a separate customer.js, you know, where I will have my uh, customer component, right? Uh, then if I need addresses, you know, then it will be in a separate file must be addresses.js, right? So I will go and add addresses.js uh, So basically you can see now in this project I have two components one is customer JS which has a customer code and one is address JS, you know, which has which has the address address code, right? And uh, if you want to use these both of these files in our project right in our UI, what do we do? We actually uh, go and we uh, load address js first and then we load customer js right so we actually go and load the components on the top of our url right and then wherever we want it you know we start using the components so for example if i want the customer component here i will say cast is equal to new customer and i start using my components right so in other words what happens uh, in projects is you actually go and you create small small modules and you use those modules in your ui but now think about a situation you know where you have lots of modules like customer addresses phone sales and so on right and uh, you are using those modules on your ui now what you want is you know you want to load these modules on demand means whenever you need it you will load customer js whenever you need the address object you will load the address module so you don't want to load all of these js in one go right for example now in this situation if you see uh, let us say i will do alert here or must be i will say here uh, alert uh, customer not needed till here so till here customer is not needed and only after this line of code i need the customer right but what happens in reality is if i run this project and uh, if i do a f12 now at this moment i am using google chrome to run my project i am using visual studio uh, so if you see now if i go and if i do a f12 so look at this if i do a f12 and uh, if i watch my network uh, let me go and put a debug point here so let me go to system.html and let me put the debug point on the alert now watch this if i load this project you can see that in my network he has already loaded the customer js and he has already loaded the address js and you can see in my source you know i am on this line of code at this moment and i need the customer j customer object here but before this itself you know the objects are loaded so what I want is, you know, I want to load on demand. I want to say that, okay, start loading at this moment and don't start loading the files in the first place, right? So with this, what will happen is, you know, uh, I will have very less memory footprint and it will increase performance of my JavaScript application, right? And also one of the questions, you know, which keeps coming now and then is that which is the right place to put JavaScript files? You know, so a lot of people say put JavaScript files on the head and somebody says, oh no, Put it on the last of the html and so on i think it is not about you know where your javascript files are placed it is about you know when they are loaded so you can place your javascript files wherever you wish but you know you should only load them on demand and that's what exactly this system js js does so if you look at this one big punch line of system js it says i am a dynamic module loader right so uh, so how do we do it so how do how does it how does it work so so you see in this case uh, you know i am at this line of code and it has already loaded my address js and it has already loaded my customer js for no reason right so i want to go and load dynamically 
so for that uh, what the system.js says system.js says that wherever you want to load uh, dynamically you just say system.js.import okay so in whichever place you want to load the file just say system.import and that's it so if so what I can do here now I can say that okay I need the customer JS here right so I can say system.import the customer.js at this moment right and then after that you know I will say that after this I will go and I will create the object of customer so you can see now what will happen is he will only load customer.js and also when I go this line past this line of code and not at this line of code right so if I go and if I run this so again let me do a f12 and watch so I'm going to go and do a reload so you can see now I have put a debug point here and I'm waiting if I go to my network tab uh, oh yeah <laughs> what I have to do now is I don't need these files here at the top right because system.js will actually load the objects isn't it so basically I need to go and drag down drag up the system.js and I shouldn't be putting address and customer JS on the top because now system.js is responsible to load those objects dynamically right so now let me go and again reload it so I'm going to I'm going to do f12 right so there it is it goes uh, okay there it is so you can see now uh, till this point I, I have said that I don't need the customer and if you go to network here you can see that he has made no call to customer JS if I also go to my sources here and if you see at the left hand side you can see that the customer.js has still not been loaded in memory so you can see from the network tab it is clear that the customer.js at this moment has still not been loaded in memory but now if I go and if I say okay load it now right now if I go to my network tab you can see that he has now made a call to customer JS and then once you know the customer JS is loaded I can always go and create the object of customer so you can see now I'm able to create the object of customer and I can use it so as the name says system.js is a module loader what it does is it actually goes and loads your module on demand so with this you know you will have very less memory footprint and if you have a large module system you know where you have lots of modules you can load on demand so remember this awesome framework github.com slash system.js it's a module loader and also I have shown you the basic syntax so basically what you need to do is you need to go and put at the top system.js and then you can say system.js import customer.js system.js now import supplier.js system.js now import address.js so wherever he sees this import statement he will load that JS at that moment and not at the first place itself. So thank you very much. Hope you have enjoyed this session. In this session we were talking about a JavaScript open source framework called as system.js. Thank you.